Mr. Tung's kindly driving me to work this morning. Yep. I asked him, have you been watching my videos? Do you watch my latest release? Of course. But he didn't, but it doesn't matter. He's got his kids and he even tried to rope his wife into watching it. But she's unimpressed with it, people. But yeah, your 15 year old, he speaks English, does he, a little bit? He can, yeah, he can. All right, excellent. There you go, two new fans right there. He's got his 13 year old daughter watching as well. Yeah. She also can listen, but uh, for speaking, she's not so good. Oh, yeah, she understands English, but yeah. not good at speaking. That's all right. You should bring him to the factory. They can introduce one of the episodes and be on YouTube. Yeah, I wonder how we'll bring him. Yeah. yeah. Bring your kids to work day. Saturday? I'm not allowed in on Saturday. I mean, you just sit you'll have behind, behind here. Oh, you have to hide. Behind. Yeah, I'll have to hide in the back here. <laughs> <laughs> they haven't had this done yesterday afternoon when I left, which is about four. So they've done this this morning. I was here late this morning. I was did three videos. Well, sorry, I completed three videos this morning. Wow. Sometimes my baby needs a bit of love to behave. Apparently this love is allowed in some of the religious texts, either by book or by the standards. This is going to be one fine boat. Nothing but quality people. With the build so far, the bulkheads and frames were fitting very well with the keel within a millimetre. We also have the dagger boards and the housing to be particularly accurate for smooth operation. Hi people, don't forget to share, like and subscribe. And don't forget to ring that bell down there. See you in the next vlog.
Okay, who volunteers to answer questions about welding? What's that? Well, welding. Welding? Yeah, it's very simple. Come on, Jeffrey, oh, you've already answered. Let's go, let's go, hassle Jeffrey. Look at my hair, people. No, Only a mother no, could no, love. No, no, no. I can not Did well, you just swear to me then? I, I cannot weld, but I can talk on the <laughs> weld for me. I think there was a swear word in there. I don't understand any of the other words. But I'm Australian and I understood the swear word. Okay, Jeffrey, here's the question. The issue is the shell plate and the frame, there's literally no gap. I mean, I think it's done perfectly. But someone asked, shouldn't there be a bit of a gap so you can get a better weld so you can get into the gap? But apparently, according to the standard, that's not. This one here? Yeah, so there. Yeah. There to the shell plate. Absolutely. The welding procedure. Yeah. And the one you provide, you you put gaps. Is uh, normally the butt weld. Ah. Butt weld. But fillet weld. It's a fillet weld. Yeah, fillet weld should be should be zero uh, gap. So it should be as as close as possible as zero. And 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 so when you're welding here, because you don't know you don't need full penetration. Is that right? Yeah, because if you can see the fillet weld here. This is the plate, right? Yeah. And this is the the frame. Yeah. The thickness. So the welding is just like that. Just like that. Yeah. No need to penetrate. No need to penetrate. Is it on both sides because or only on one side? Because if one one side, because if you put the gap on this one, yeah. When you weld, there's a deformation later. Yeah. Yeah. Because there is a gap, and then uh, depend on the how much heat you apply? Yeah, and then when you when you finish welding, you can see at the back the plate is looks like ah. like that. It will shrink and then sometimes not shrink too much because of the gap. So right. if you put too much gap, heat, so yeah. zero gap, zero just gap. to fill it well mm. with minimal heat, yeah. and you'll get no distortion. Yeah, and that's plenty strong enough. Yes. Okay. <laughs> well, there you go, people. I didn't know that. Got the construction guidelines. Premium thickness, maximum. Oh, so you could actually have a space according to the standards. Yeah, you have you have uh, the maximum, but it's possible. Yeah, minimum. Too. So according to the standards, since our plate is five millimeters, then the maximum gap allowed is three millimeters. But all of our gaps are much, much smaller. Let's go check them out. And this is the butt weld where you need full penetration. Yep. Okay. All right, thank you guys. Well done, top stuff. Now, just for my own interest, I've got an extremely accurate device here. I'll show you. It's called the EPDA. Jesus, there's bloody bolts sticking out from the floor. I always trip over them. Let's see if I can put this EPDA through. So there are some gaps, but they're not beyond any of the tolerances, according to the standards. Damn, I just found out. They do all the interesting stuff on Saturday when I can't get to access to the factory. They're welding these up tomorrow. So I'm gonna hopefully get one of the engineers to film it. Because that'll be interesting. I mean, look at the size of it. 
So today they're cleaning them up. He'll be grinding these where all the welds are going to be, grinding them up, cleaning them up, preparing it all for tomorrow. Here are both the masters at work, Adonis and Jeffrey. They're contemplating the steering. Issues are watertight compartments and we need to get the steering to the very back. I think we're going to have some troubles welding up there as well. Just for the same reason we had down here. No space. So one side's going to be good, but the other side, that's another problem. We'll see how they tackle that when uh, we get to it. We do have some issues with respect to keeping the steering the way we designed it and the watertight bulkheads. They have to go through them. And because it's cabling or linkages, you know, they have to have some freedom of movement so then you lose the watertight bulkhead problem or you lose the watertight bulkiness. This forward thing is super strong. I mean, look at it.
This forward beam is going to be so bloody strong. Unbelievable. Now the hull was smooth, but this is super smooth. Like literally, this is unbelievable. Wow. That's amazing. I'm gonna go check out the other one. Bloody amazing. So smooth. Wow, yeah, super smooth. I mean, the hull's smooth, but this is super smooth. Yeah. Wow, and that's bloody great too. These are gonna be nice gagger boards, people. If you'd like to be a part of the project or crew, then come and join up as a patron. Nearly all the rewards are trying to get you onto the boat, either for a day sail, a weekender, a week or two holiday, or for the ultimate experience to join us on one of the legs of the Elcano Challenge. There are wonderful places all around this beautiful world that you could come and visit me and the crew to kick back and see what it's really like.